Hi, this is Jay Morielli again. This is uh, tutorial number three. We're going to talk about keepouts and a, a die plan for this wafer in this, uh, this session. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new cell and I'm going to call it wafer keep out. This is going to be a guide to help me um, um, do my wafer or my die plan. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and I'm going to use the command lines for this to make it a little bit easier. So P for point. I'm going to start at the center. Oops. So that's the first point. Shows up at the center. And then I'm going to set select the other point, which is the area of the wafer that I can use. And you probably can't see that because I'm not zoomed out enough. And then I type circle. And this gives me a circle centered on the first point with the radius of the second point. And I was on the wrong layer. So what I want to do is I want to go to the uh, form select, the selection guides. You can see here there's three key selection tools, the point select, the form select, cell select, and the key commands. But I don't tend to use those. I tend to be an icon person. So here's the point select. This is the for form select, and this is the cell select. We're going to take form select, select it once, and you can see my form is selected down here in the bottom corner on the right. And then I'm going to go up to mask. I'm going to do a right mouse click, and I'm going to say move to layer. I use my left button and mouse wheel at the same time, and I can slide. And this uh, should be in a new layer, and I can double check by doing a right mouse click a right mouse click into a properties button and you can see my layer is zero and it's the mask guys. So I say okay. Now I go back to my wafer. Sorry, I said mask, I said wafer, I should have said guides. All right, so now what I want to do is I place that cell into the wafer cell. So it's a hierarchical design. Wafer key get, keep out. And I'm going to set place the keep out in the center of this guide of this cell at zero zero zero. Left mouse click places it. Escape gets me out of placement mode. And now you can see to select that new cell, I have to use the cell select button. And I can right mouse click get the properties. See that it comes from the cell keep out cell. I can use my measurement tool on the center. See I have, zoom in a little bit more, I have 45 millimeters and a, and a 50 millimeter radius wafer. And you can see now I have my, my guide, my keep out guide with the escape key. And now we're going to define our, a new cell. And we're going to call this cell die. And our cell, our die is 5410 microns by wide by 5030 uh, microns high. And we're going to use the point command to get these. So, and we're going to we're going to do three things. We're going to make the die courtyard, the saw lane, and the um, contact keep out area all in this same um, cell. And I'm going to start with the saw lane because that's going to be at the origin. So P zero comma zero origin We're in the up, upper extent of the saw lane minus five five seven o comma five one nine o 
I'm going to try not to zoom out to see it. Right, I don't see it, so we'll just say box and see where it is. Oh, I didn't zoom out enough. All right. So we're going to go to the form select. We're going to double click on it. Right mouse click, properties. And you can see if I got my size correct. So the width is 5570. And my height is 5190. And it's at the origin. And of course, I was on the wrong layer. So it's selected. You can see it's selected here. And we're going to call this the saw center. Right mouse click and move to layer. Hit the properties. And you can see now we're on the saw channel center. All right. Now we're going to place the die courtyard. And we this time we'll select the correct layer. And we'll say, use the point command again, P. And now the saw channel is 160 microns wide. And what we're going to do is we're going to use half that in our courtyard so that when we bump two courtyards together, the two courtyards together gives me the 160 microns. And so this spacing only needs to be 80. So the, the die courtyard is going to be at minus 80, comma 80. And the other extent is going to be 20, times 24, comma 0, 5190. And then we're going to say, zoom in a little bit so we can see these a little bit better. And then we're going to say box. And we're going to go up to form select, select it, right mouse click, look at the properties. We're on the right layer. You can see that the width of my wafer is correct, the height is correct, and the location is correct. Okay, and now we're going to say, we're going to put in the contact keep out area. And you can already see that I'm going to have a problem, but we'll fix that in a minute. So this is going to be P. And the die courtyard, uh, if you remember from the introduction uh, tutorial, I have 110 microns between the saw channel and the, and the die. Um, I mean, between the edge of the contact and the saw courtyard is 110 microns. So that means the closest I could put a contact to the edge of the die is 30 microns. And so we're going to set up the contact courtyard at minus one, one, oh, oh, okay. We're going to go back up to form select, select this box, right mouse click, look at its properties. And you can see that I'm at the right X. If, if I made a mistake, I can edit these. So that's Just double checking here. So 
Not a sad thing, so that's 54. Should be 40. 50 and 40. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to subtract. Okay. All right, so now you can see that my fill pattern is not correct. So we're going to go to the layer. It'll be in the way. And we're going to go to the contact heap at area and turn its fill style to clear or just outline. And so now we have that. And so now I can zoom in here and look more closely. So now from the edge of my die to the edge of the saw lane is 80 microns in both directions, this corner. And that the edge of the contact keep out is 110 microns to the saw lane in both directions. Look at the other corner to make sure that we've got everything centered correctly. The die to the saw edge is 80 in that direction, 80 in that direction. And the contact keep out is 110 there and 110 there. Excellent. All right, so that forms our die. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here, go back to our wafer, and we're gonna say draw, cell, we'll go down to our die, say okay, we're gonna place it. And we're gonna place it so the corner is right in the origin and so you can see that in the bottom left-hand corner, the x, y is zero. And so that's our first die. And then we're going to go and just step over. So now that the, by doing these courtyards, I can easily place things without having to do a lot of measurements. So we've placed, let's place four. When the die is really big and you've got a small grid, sometimes it's hard to get them to line up unless you zoom in a lot. So you're zooming in and out a lot. So now we're gonna go to the cell select and we're gonna select these four cells and we're gonna Come down here at the corner. And copy. Let me zoom out. And so we don't have to do one at a time. So that gets me a row, and then we'll cell select, and we'll select all these. And zoom in a little bit, and say copy. And put our, come on, our guides right on top of each other. And again, too much jumpiness. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Copy. So where you copy, where your cursor is when you copy is where, where the cursor falls on the, the items to be copied. And so it's important to get these, oh, there we go. And we'll do it again. 
Very important to get all these to line up correctly. B. So now. And so on and so forth. And you do this. I can copy all these layers. Let's do that. So we're going to go over here. Select some more. This one, zoom in a little bit here, copy, zoom out, slide in, place it. So now I've done a whole quarter, uh, a whole quarter of a wafer, and then I'll escape, and then now I'll go back to cell selection. And anything, any wafers that fall on the outside the keep out range, I'll just delete. A few more here that are. So then the next question is, you know, I've got a few here that are just barely on the edge and we can decide later whether or not to delete those. So we're just going to leave them. And then what I'll do is I'll copy this and replicate them on all the other coordinates. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one.